Hi, my name is Andrew Levin. I am 24 years old and I have autism. I thought I'd come here and tell you three attitudes I have that I believe help me in my life with autism. Now, maybe these ideas will help you if you have autism or know someone who has autism, and maybe they won't. But either way, I hope you find this interesting. What society wants may not be, and doesn't have to be, what I want. Sometimes I'll ask myself, how will I be able to manage a romantic relationship? But then I have to answer myself that before I can really answer that, I need to figure out if I want a romantic relationship. And by that I mean, I need to figure out if the desire for a romantic relationship is going to genuinely come from me. It can't come from society, it can't come from some people seeing me and being like, oh, that guy doesn't have a girlfriend, what a loser. No, it has to come all from me. If I'm single, but happy, that's what matters the most. It's not a matter of giving up. Just because I have autism, that doesn't mean I can't be successful. But it does mean there are going to be certain things that I'm probably not gonna be able to do. For example, I've never been good with math. So because of that, I'm probably not gonna be the next Stephen Hawking. I'm not gonna be able to have a career that's heavily math focused. But that doesn't really bother me because I don't like doing math. Why would I wanna do a career where it's something I don't enjoy? Never make it about pride. When I say pride, I mean that I have a disability and that means I may need to ask for help. There's nothing wrong with it. We all need help now and again. It just means I might need help in, other, in places where other people might not. I'm proud of the fact that I have autism, but that does not mean I don't see the challenges that come with it. But I believe that the challenges are far outweighed by the gain. This has been Andrew Levin and three attitudes about my life with autism.